What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome you back to another Duel Links video. Today, we're going to be continuing with the deck we made yesterday. If you missed that, there will be a card that you can click up here to go watch that video first so you can see the details. But we're just going to jump right into some PvP. I'm, I'm recording this basically right after yesterday's episode, so I do apologize if there are any uh, immediate changes you wanted to see me make to this deck. We're going to be using pretty much the same thing. I want to try to discover some more flaws. Uh, realistically, we only lost the one duel yesterday because I'm an idiot, so we'll just we'll leave it at that. That, basically, um, but we'll go ahead and see if there's gonna be any like glaring flaws as we climb the ladder But you know, what? I really do like this deck I think the one thing we're missing is like strength a lot of attack, but that's why we're running those swords We both have grandfathers. They both have cards and I draw just Literally one of the worst hands I would ever think in my life Well drawing heart of the underdog could be a good thing if we drew even like one spell if we drew even one spell I actually probably should have just kept that in my hand But I'm so far removed from the possibility of winning with Exodia that I just I wait one two three four 26 we have 21 cards in this deck. What are we doing? Why are there 21? We, I want 20. I want 20. Oh All right, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I don't know why there's 21. I Don't know he plays hard of the underdog on turn one as well. We're both pretty lucky. We're both pretty lucky at that point now, he's going to summon his 1700 beater, which of course is amazing, and ends his turn. Doesn't even want to risk the biscuit. I get bazoo. I get a bazoo. Well, now that my now that my card is already set, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just getting my turn. I feel like I lose right away. If this guy's running the deck I think he's running, I actually think I lose right away. Let's see. I think we're just about to get curb stomped. Oh, we don't get curb stomped. All right. So I kind of need him to attack something. I don't think he will. Ah, uh, or that helps. That helps a good amount. Jar of Greed. So now we don't have to worry. We can get through. We can get through right now. I'm going to go ahead and activate this Guardian Sword. Equip that to my Bazoo. And really hope that he doesn't have a Karibo. And he does not. All right. So we're on our way. We are on our way to victory at this point. As long as he doesn't draw out his entire, if he's not running the normal, all normal monsters plus Exodia head, otherwise we're screwed. If he's running all normal monsters, we, we can't win. But if he isn't, then we can win. Uh, maybe not next turn unless we draw Cosmo Queen, but we have a good chance. We have a good chance. Here comes his Heart of the Underdog right now. Whiptail Crow. Okay, here it goes. Yep, I think he's running it. I think he's running it. No, he's not. Ooh, okay. No! He gave me the false hope! That false hope was so real. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's actually running the all-normal monster. Let me have the one... Let me have the 42% chance to open up with Heart of the Underdog and actually get it. But, and he's playing Jar of Greeds. Oh, my gosh. So... Some glare, a glaring flaw that I see in this deck uh, is that Twister really counters uh, these decks hard. So if we could run Twister, that would be fantastic. If we could run Twister. Is he is he done now? Did he draw the head? He probably just drew the head there. Uh, this thing's because he's going to set something with a decent amount of defense. We saw all those normal monsters in his deck. Uh, unless we draw Cosmo Queen, I don't see us... We need to draw a bunch of stuff, actually. I, I need to draw, like, Cosmo Queen into... Uh, actually, I would love to draw my Piercing right now. Oh, that'd be so good. Draw General. Draw the General. Go Cosmo Queen into General, just so I have options. Into Soul Exchange. Yes! I wouldn't activate Soul Exchange right now, because I really have to discard a card from his hand and hope that I hit an Exodia piece. Uh, I really do have to hit an Exodia piece. So it's my turn. Dark Witch, we will activate Heart of the Underdog right now. And that's all we get. Okay, there's the common charity. Um, I'm pretty. I, I feel like we lose next turn. I do feel like we lose next turn. There's the magical merchant, which I kind of wish. Well, actually, I'm glad it didn't go off. Because then, if he is running a backup soldier, we'd be pretty screwed. We have common charity now, which is great. Uh, because it'll guarantee that we draw at least three cards next turn, potentially more. Uh, that's if we even get another turn. It's if we get another turn. I think he's confused as to why his merchant didn't go off. And I silenced that merchant. He's not selling nothing today. There's nothing being sold on my streets. 
Absolutely not. Draw he card. draws a card. That's fine. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass my activation. Please don't activate. Just, 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 just have only drawn your trap card. Just do it. Don't activate Heart of the Underdog. And don't give me none of this false hope. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome. I, I like seeing the Exodia pieces on the board. We really do need to draw my Cosmo. I shouldn't have set up my whole board like that. Uh, I'm not going to activate this just yet. Wait till your draw phase. That way uh, you can activate Heart of the Underdog regardless. So let's see. What do we draw next? Let's make sure this is on. So we draw it no matter what. He has common charity. Oh, no. Oh, we could lose right here. We could lose right here, boys. We could lose right here. Did he get it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's just the bat or something. Okay, good. Shoo! Activate hard on the underdog. Let's wait. Uh, activate common charity. Let's go ahead and banish. Okay, and we didn't draw any. We didn't draw anything to really give us those nuts. Um, we're gonna tribute summon Fiend Mega Cyber because we're running out of turns to win. We are running out of turns to win. Uh, I think we do have it though. If I activate Bow, oh wait, do I have three? I only have two. I could have activated my Bow, my Sword first. That's why I said Bow. But I think we still have it. No, see, we could have guaranteed had it. We could have guaranteed had it right there. But I'm a fool of a took, and I misplayed super hard. I should have done that first. Um, let's see. I'm going to equip this to, to Soul Eater. I'm going to equip this to my Soul Eater. Let's attack with Mega, uh, Mega Cyber Fiend. There we go. Nothing. Boom! We got it! Who cares? All right, so I definitely should have activated my sword first. I could have gotten my uh, soul eater up to 3,000 without even equipping it with the blade. I could have equipped the new blade to my mega fiend cyber, seems fiend cyber mega and mega stones. And then I, I could have attacked with that and guaranteed no effects going off. No Skellenjol, no risking the biscuit. Got to slow down, Shady. We're one for one today. Sort of, and yes, I'm wearing my glasses today. Well, I'm wearing for this video because my eyes are starting to feel a little strained while I was editing the last video. So I was like, hey, let's get rid of this, this bad light and let's only have the good light. We're going first. That's a good thing or a bad thing. We don't really know. All right, so we're, we're, we're doing good. I'm going to keep this 21 card deck going then. I'm going to do it. If it's, if it's rocking out, look at this. Look at this. Veil of Darkness immediately. I'm going to summon the witch. I'm not even going to set her. I'm just going to show this man what I'm about. I'm just going to show this man exactly what I'm all about. I'm hoping this isn't the ritual deck and he just stops me right now. That'd be really bad. That'd be really, really bad if he's running the uh, white paladin ritual. Uh, this Exodia just looks so dope in my hand. It looks so freaking cool. I kind of wish it was really in the game. Imagine that. That'd be so broken. 20 card deck where one fifth of your de one fourth of your deck is your win con. That would be way too easy to accomplish. Way too easy to accomplish. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. What do you, are you, you just had to draw a card, man. You just, you just gotta draw a card. Just click it, draw. Just click it and draw. Maybe he's confused. Like, wait, am I really in the right, 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 right dueling? Why isn't this guy running like scoundrel? What is going on? No, he knows. He knows because he's got more than 30 cards in his deck. Oh, Seto Kaiba, do not make me come and steal Mokuba. Thank you. You just threaten his little brother. He does what he wants. What does what you want. It's fantastic. It's a really good time. At least I think so. I think it's a good time. But this guy's taking... Uh, centuries centuries to make moves you know what's crazy i saw some people get some really good prizes from this ladder and i've done a few duels i've done a dozen or so and i haven't gotten a single good card he summons a monster in attack position who's it gonna be wow his own angel i feel like he's cheating right now that's why he's taking so long he's just gonna crash all right he's going for the crash i mean i can respect it I don't have to expect it, but I can respect it. 
Um, Veil of Darkness works much better if you're running the Exodia deck and you're running Backup Soldier. Uh, I will definitely admit that because you just ditch all, you ditch three pieces, just keep drawing until you get what you need, ditch those pieces, and then get Backup Soldier and bada bing bada boom. You can go ahead and pick them up from, scoop them up from your graveyard. All right, we draw Bazoo, which is good, um, which is very good. I'm going to go ahead and summon Bazoo. I'm going to activate him just to get maximum damage and also because um, I want to make sure I'm at 1900. In case he has another Witch, I don't want him just attacking over my 1600. Uh, the good news is that if we do draw something like Cosmo Queen, we have the nuts. Uh, if we draw any big dark monster, we can just banish it with Bazoo. And then go ahead and... He summons another attack position monster? And he ends his turn. Okay. Summons the Behemoth and ends his turn. Okay, we draw left leg. So I would definitely use Veil of Darkness. I would definitely use Veil of Darkness. We're trying to get a really good uh, dark monster. Okay, we got Common Charity, which sucks in this situation. But we can go ahead and use Bazoo's effect again. So that's why I really like Bazoo in a Veil of Darkness deck. I was actually working on like a Veil of Darkness deck before... Uh, before this whole event, uh, Veil of Darkness and Return from Return from uh, the Dark Dimension, Escape from the Dark Dimension, rather. Uh, I really like. There's some really cute combos. It ran one Bazoo. Uh, I think it'd be better with two. Oh no! It's coming back. It is coming back. Which means maybe he's got a tribute summon, or he's just you know I want protection. I like protection. I want to be safe. Don't want to be caught off guard. Look at this, there's stuff on my floor over there. What is that, my light? That's my light down there. Normally you can't see that low, but I adjusted the cam. I think the camera looks better like this the way it is right now. Less ceiling, more floor, you know? I'm gonna make sure I actually pay attention to the duel instead of my floors. Uh, he's got five cards in hand, sets a back row. Ooh, back row. Oh, and a monster. Can we just draw a general? Please draw the general. I'm begging you to draw the general. Okay, we draw a twin battle dragon. Do I really wanna discard that? Actually, I kind of don't. I'm not going to. All right, let's go ahead and let's... Uh, the only reason why I would have wanted to do is to get to a card so I can activate Common Charity, but uh, I'm not about... Actually, I can activate Common Charity right now and say screw it because the majority of our deck is normal type monsters, so it'd be really rare for us to not get one. Uh, he's going to activate this, unfortunately. Cloning is activating as I targeted that. Should have targeted the face down. It is unfortunate. Uh, but it's okay. That stuff happens. Cloning, wow. I really don't ever see cloning. Uh, I'm pretty tempted to activate Common Charity. I think I will. I'm just going to YOLO swag it. Once again, though, that should have been during the draw phase. But we do manage to get two darks. Uh, and I'm tempted to use my my uh, return from the dark dimension escape from the dark dimension i keep calling the wrong name i apologize but i'm not going to i'm gonna crash with the 1700 and i'm gonna take care of the known issue instead of the unknown issue although some would say with with dark mimics running around you should just take care of the face down but there's too many variables way too many variables all right here we go here let's go here we go Oh, man, we could have dumped both of those during your draw phase if you draw a dark monster. Okay, that sucks. That actually sucks. Oh my gosh, this sucks so bad. Um. Ah. Wow. Now, my monster. I should have just dissed the twin barrel dragon. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Now I need to draw like. I mean, Soul Exchange won't help me right here. I already used my Common Charity. I actually don't know. I mean, I could draw... Do I have another Angel in this deck? Or did I use... I, I might have used both my Angels already. I'm not sure. If we didn't, then we're fine. We can draw into that easily. Alright. Well, there's the General. Um, which I'm not going to activate. Veil of Darkness. Because I can actually... I'm going to have to use this for a Tribute Summon. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Then let's go ahead and Tribute off so that we can get our... That's why I don't mind running four Tribute Summons right now. Uh, let's attack over the thing that can Tribute for two. Just in case he is running something, a Dark-type, like a Barrel Dragon. Uh, 
We're discarding a random card. We're discarding the head of Exodia. Is that where you scoop, my friend? I doubt it. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that Escape from the Dark Dimension does stay on our field, which it does clog. That's why you don't usually want to tribute like that. Uh, but sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to. And when you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. I draw. Kaiba draws. Kaiba does, in fact, draw his card. Down to three cards in hand. He's got four total to my, really four. It's not five. Sets monster face down. If he's wise, he doesn't go into a defense position with his uh, Axe Raider. Kind of hoping he does, though. I hope he's not wise. Yes! All right, I love unwise. Because I'd rather, unless unless the other monster has a lower defense and that's why he's doing it. Uh, I will activate Veil of Darkness because I'm not in any sort of trouble right now. Uh, I don't mind getting rid of a Karibo. Uh, we got a witch. There's our witch. So we did, in fact, have another witch. Let's go with our 1800. And just in the off chance he's running like Yomi ship, let's attack the face up. Discard another card from his hand. And this is why the Infernal General is just so good. We got rid of the red eyes. So he was running a red eyes. This guy's deck is all over the place. Had the red eyes for the double cost in. Music is going to get intense as we potentially climb to gold today. Look at this game. It's pretty good. Yeah, you look good set up. It's two. You look at all this resource. Look at this card advantage. Five to two. I don't count escape from the dark dimension. My D spell. No! That was my win condition. I'm sorry. I'm a little too excited right now. I don't know why. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know what's going on. But I'm a little too excited. Da -da -do, da -da -do. You end your turn foolishly. You foolishly end your turn. You know what that means, guys. If you have the chance to finish things with the head of Exodia, you do it. You do it. Just show them. Hey, man, I don't care. These are just pieces to my puzzle. I'll use them any way I want, not the way the game tells me to use them. That's why I like this deck. That's why I like this deck. It has multiple contingency plans. I'm not going to say it's the most consistent. I think that other decks... What's cool about the special duels is that it's actually hurting, like... The regular top decks like Rex cannot be as consistent, cannot draw his dinos as consistent. There's five more cards fluffing up his deck. However, the Exodia pieces are really nice for him because he's running order to charges. You could also run order to charges in this deck if you can find the room. If instead of going for like a soul exchange and return from dark dimension uh, engine, you can go ahead and change that up and use some uh, order to charges and, and whatever have you. Maybe a couple more common charity. You, everyone's got a grandfather these days. All right, here we go. Heart of the Underdog in turn one, along with Common Charity. That's such a good time. That is such a good time. Uh, especially because we have the Guardian Sword Bow, which I need to discard a card for, so the more resources I can get, the better. So that's a monster face down. He's got, he's got one more card in his deck than I do. There's our Exodia head. So if we really want to, we can attempt it. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to set my common charity because charity is just oh so common. And then I'm going to summon my witch and start poking this man right in the back. In the belly button. I mean, what can this face down be? Mirror wall, windstorm, uh, order to charge. What is it? What is it, man? Show me. Flip it. Oh, Jester. That sucks. That sucks. So he's gonna start. He's gonna start thinning his deck immediately. And that's that's the better card. I was playing with Blue Dragon Summoner when Jester is much better. I did make another like straight up Exodia deck, uh, and playing with those is so much more so smooth because your opponent doesn't get to add one to their hand. I love it. The only way you'd want to use Blue Dragon Summoner is if you want to bait your opponent into adding Exodia pieces into his hand, and then you go ahead and you actually just um, exchange him. That's always a possibility. But we're going to go ahead. It just sets a monster and just turn. We draw a Fiend Mega Cyber. Uh, can I activate? Do I risk it? Yeah, I'm risking it. Oh, that's a big risk. It's just totally unnecessary. Yes! Okay. So we're going to banish this. Oh, but I don't think we can hard the underdog now because we have to banish that. That's unfortunate. All right. Um, Let's think, let's think, let's think. Let's just go ahead and Guardian Bow. Let's just do that, and let's discard our Karibo. 
This way, he's not thinning his deck anymore with Jesters or anything like that. Let's battle phase it up. We have five cards. We're going to make him go down to four. If this goes through, but I think it is Karibo or something. Nope. What is this? Tribute one dark monster, draw two cards. Ooh, okay. And I have no spells in my hand. Interesting. So he's going to, and he's going to get his monster effect by doing that. That's a really cute trap card to run. That's a really cute trap card to run. Did you just win? Yes, I will continue the attack. Of course I will. It's 2300 direct. All we need to do is get 1700 life points of damage. My turn. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a cute little trap to run. And I've seen that trap. I just wasn't sure if I could ever find application for it, but my opponent did. For my hand to play Shard of Reed, you're not living two more turns. Not if I anything. Not if I have anything to say about it. There's the Soul Exchange. I, you know what? I was thinking maybe Soul Exchange would be great. Um, but is it really though? Um, you know what? In case he has a Karibo, it is great. In case he has a Karibo, it is great. So let's go ahead. Let's tribute this for our Fiend Mega Cyber. I know I can't do my battle phase, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's end our turn. So if it's 22 and a 23, he's only gonna get, oh, is a ladybug. I mean, it doesn't matter we would've, oh, does he scoop? Uh, it doesn't matter because we have the Sword of Bow. We have the Wicked Breakage, Flame Burge. Okay, so if that's Windstorm, we're pretty screwed. Actually, we're fine. If it's Windstorm, we can play around it. If that's all he does anyway. If he has no monsters to set. No, he does. He summons his own Fiend Mega Cyber. Oh my gosh, I think he's gonna win now. Darn it, man. You gotta be kidding me. That sucks, dude. And he's gonna survive, so he's gonna be able to draw it. Okay, so if that, do I play around the Windstorm? Nah, we can't afford to. Let's attack the face down first. I know I'm attacking it without the bow. Ooh, he gets rid of his leg. That means he's probably he's probably playing um It's backup soldier down there then. So we can attack this. Okay. Come on, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do the magic. Don't do the magic. You have you have so many cards left in deck. Do not do the magic. Do not do the magic. You either draw two more, but you still have 13 cards in deck. You are not doing the magic. He didn't do the magic. Card trader. Oh no, he's trying to go for it. Well, it doesn't matter. Right now there's a piece in the graveyard and he doesn't have enough monsters in his graveyard to activate backup soldier anyway. So we're fine. So I don't think he does. He might, but I can't check right now. I'm nervous, all right? Let's card face down. He's not even gonna activate trap trader. So that's another monster. Okay, I was gonna say we have a chance of winning, but maybe we don't. All right, let's see what we draw. Let's see what we draw. Okay, I'm definitely gonna activate Heart of the Underdog. Let's see, we're, watch us get Exodia right now, back to back to back to back. Let's see, nope, okay, Twin Barrel Dragon. Uh, that could be the difference between an easy win and a, and a difficult win. So let's go ahead. Let's summon the Twin Barrel Dragon. Let's target the monster. Target that monster. Can we get the 25%? Show us that 25, baby. Ah! Nope. All right, so with that, I'm going to change my Fiend Mega Cyber to defense. Just in case he has Windstorm. Let us back. So that way if he activates Windstorm. Here I go. Uh, my monster attacks. He doesn't activate Windstorm. He just has the Mimic. Well, it flips, and now he can activate something in a damage step. It looks like he has something, which would be Mirror Wall. Oh, half shut. Wow, that means that the flip effect will go off. Oh, man. Ah! All right. Oh, the yeah, the flip effect did go off. Stop it! Don't talk about your dictionaries, Joey. We're on YouTube. No, no, you're not. You're not winning with Exodia like this. Half shut is not the reason you win. Woo! No, no! At the start of your main phase, one target three. Is that the start? Shuffle all three into your deck and draw two cards. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no, all bad options for us. Zodia? Zodia's still not here. All right, I don't know what that face down card is that you got, but we're gonna we're gonna try to push through. Oh my gosh, he's going for it. He really wants to get rid of Fiend Mega Cyber. That says something good. That says something good for me. No, he ends his turn. So he's trying to bluff the mirror wall right now. He's probably trying to bluff the mirror wall right now. It's fine though. Let's just move with Exodia right now. Let's see. Let's just get Exodia. Okay, so the Fiend Mega Cyber, which is a good thing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's the best thing to do? Um, I would say we definitely tribute summon this. Because there's no mirror wall or anything. So let's just get a stronger monster out. And I think let's stay the way we are right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go for this chest. Okay, he has nothing to activate. Darn it, we could have won. Oh! Oh, Mishizor, no! Wow. Chooses to destroy his own monster. Well, I guess he gave up. What the heck? You could have just destroyed mine and then hadn't bought another turn. All right, we win. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I think he had to win that or he would rank down. He's choosing the rank down. I don't get it. I just don't get it. That's fine. We can go in for another one. We got time for one more. We got what time for one more? Silver rank three. We can get the silver rank four because we got time for one more. So this deck does perform pretty well so far on the silver ladder. Uh, we'll see when we get to gold probably tomorrow if we're still playing with this deck. I don't know. I might switch over to regular PvP. Um, I have been working on getting Gravekeepers. I've had no such luck on getting <laughs> Gravekeepers. I still can't get my third recruiter. Uh, it's wild, man. The, the farming the farming for on a Legendary Duelist is just insanity. We're going up against Bandit Keith and his grandfather. We're both playing with uh, little low decks. And I open up with Heart of the Underdog again. And what I consider to be a pretty crappy hand. But getting, getting three spells out of the deck right away and having Heart of the Underdog would be really, really nice. If we draw Darkness Veil next turn, we can pretty much guarantee we'll get what we want. He's just giggling already. Who's you summoning? Summoning Jerry Beans, man. All right, that, that, bodes, that does not bode well for us. Okay, we have the General, which is really good. Uh, it is really good. I'm gonna play Heart of the Underdog. And I'm gonna hope I'm gonna hope that uh, he doesn't attack this thing. By the by, just so you know, uh, another option, I think there's an equip in the game like Fairy du fairy Meteor that lets your monster do piercing. You could always do that instead of the general, but I like the fact the general lets him discard. It's not just the piercing damage. I was just thinking that Dexia has zero defense right there. Ooh, see, I was gonna run Shadow Slayers. I was gonna run Shadow Slayers in mine. I promise, I'm divine. I was gonna do it twice. I really was. All right. So we're going to take 1,900 right here. And then if he has Windstorm face down, we basically lose. That's awesome. That's an awesome way to lose. At least I think so. All right. We draw a zoo. Literally can't do anything with that. So let's go ahead and tribute. Uh, let's go ahead and tribute. And if he has Windstorm, he wins. But um, we have to try this anyway. We have to try this regardless. I mean, Windstorm or Mirror Wall wins the game. I could choose not to attack. But that doesn't seem like fun. In fact, I haven't seen Mirror Wall once. Yes! I haven't seen Mirror Wall once. Is that Mishizor face down then? No, because it wouldn't have been able to ask him to activate. What do we discard? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Wow. Because I haven't seen Mirror Wall once in this, on this ladder, in the special duel, so. Uh, summons a Jerry Beans Man in attack, and activates Metal More. That's why he didn't do it. Shoo! 
shoot, man. Well, we ended up losing one, as we always do. We can never just have a perfect video of flawless wins, but that prismatic metamorph put in the work for my opponent, for Bandit Keith. That's gonna be it for today's video. I think tomorrow we'll be using a different deck. We might not even be doing Exodia. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comment section down below. I may have already recorded it, but it'll let me know what to do for you guys on Thursday. I love you so much. I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it shady.